Yo guys, what is up? It is Jerocraft, and today I have another transformation video. But not only are we going to be transforming the witch hut, we're also going to be using the transformation as a template to create a nice village right in the middle of this swamp lake. Right guys, so the idea for this video is to transform the witch hut into a livable house, seeing as we are going to be using the house as a template to add some more village houses. I'm going to try and make two variations of this build, so we're going to have a one-story house, and then I'm going to try to transform my already transformed witch hut into a two-story house, so let's see how this goes. Now I know for a fact that a lot of you guys are going to try and make this transformation as well, and for this exact reason I've kept this build as simple as possible. I want you guys to be able to make this transformation too without running into too many complications. Although guys, please be aware that I have made the witch hut a block wider, so try and keep this build symmetrical as opposed to building in even numbers. So I've also decided to use a variation of blocks and actually even use stair blocks to add a bit of extra detail because, you know what, what's the, what's the point of having an entire house built out of just spruce wood? It's just not going to look good. So we've used some oak wood and we've even added some cobblestone across the bottom edge as like a sort of trim, uh, maybe like a sort of archway, I don't know guys, but this is looking pretty good already. Right guys, but we're still not done yet, we still need to add a lot of extra detail to this build and give this house its first feature, which of course is a fireplace, because what's a Minecraft house without a fireplace, right? Again, I'm keeping things as simple as possible, so this is just a one block wide fireplace with some cobblestone, some cobblestone stairs, and some cobblestone wall across the top, you know, to give it that extra chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim charoo, what's gotten into me today, honestly. I guess I'm also giving this build a bit more extra depth by adding in another layer right in front of the cobblestone we originally placed before. Also, a lot of detail guys, some flower pots, I'm also adding some signs right across the wall, and also some banners. Doesn't convince me just yet, but you know what, for now, it'll do well, I'm trying to make this house a bit more messy. Right guys, so I'm quite happy with this design and as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we were going to use this house as a template to start a village. So let's jump straight into it. So I'm going to start off with a bit of experimenting. I'm really not too sure how this is going to turn out, but my idea is to connect each house using sort of suspension bridges. No support beams or anything crazy like that. This is a really simple design using some spruce wood slab. Now just to get an idea of what this village would look like, I'm going to copy this house across over to the other side of the suspension bridge. And you know what? I think this looks pretty decent. So let's jump into transforming this house into a two-story house as I promised at the beginning of this video. So the first step, of course, is simple. A bit of demolition. I'm going to scrap the roof from the original design and give us some space to work with when it comes to the second floor. I'm also going to fix up the suspension bridge and add some support beams for the second floor to give ourselves a bit of a guideline. This should be relatively easy, nothing too complicated. But you know what, guys, I know some of you are going to want a step-by-step -step tutorial video and it's understandable because it's much easier to follow. So if you do want a step-by-step -step tutorial video, just smash that like button and let me know in the comments below. No. To be honest, I think I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial video anyway because I'm actually quite happy with this house design. Um, pretty much just following the same steps as the original design. I'm going to add in a roof and fix up the walls. It should be relatively simple, guys. Nothing too complicated, as I always say. To be honest, this has been quite a short video compared to how long I thought it would take. But you know what? It's been relatively satisfying. I'm quite happy with how everything's turned out in general. Just the idea of having a nice swamp village in the middle of a lake is just great. The only way to access this village is either swimming or by boat. So it's, it's I quite like it. Why can't Mojang add these things? Do it. Just do it. <laughs> Apart from that, I have been reading up on your comments and some of you have been giving me such great ideas. Someone suggested today me building a boathouse. I mean, this is fantastic. It's a great idea. Why have I not thought about building a boathouse before? So I will get down into building one of these sometime soon. Also, a lot of suggestions for interior room design. I'll get that into the builds and tips tutorials playlist. So um, stay tuned for that and subscribe. So now that we have two designs for the transformed witch hut, we can now use the magic of world edit to copy across a couple more houses and join them together using the so-called suspension bridges. And I am just blown away guys, something so simple looks just great in the middle of this lake. I love it, I love this idea and I hope you guys love it too. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos guys. This is pretty much all I have for you, for you today, so thank you for watching. This is Jerocraft over and out.